All right, guys, so this is the Canon SX530HS Power Shot, and this is a bridge camera. And we are here downtown Chicago at the Bean, and uh, this is the camera that I use for YouTube. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to take some samples of this baby zooming in and out and it is a 50x optical zoom full hd and uh it does have a really nice uh, video quality as well and uh, we're going to do the review soon but for this video we're just going to take a look at some of the camera samples and um, video samples as well as well as see how the optical image stabilization is but it does have a lot of manual controls but we'll get into more of that in the full review so if you guys want to see that stick around for this video and uh, let's check this camera out right now let's go all right guys we're gonna kind of just see how far we can get on this motorola sign in this building so let's go in 100x right here and uh, i'm zooming in actually doesn't look like we need to go 100x but you can see we're out of focus and it doesn't look like we can focus with the the button here on the movie mode so you might have to go into manual mode to do that so you can see that Focusing can go out of whack sometimes, so just make sure that you get your focus points right on this camera before you go ahead and zoom. It's not the, the absolute best focusing camera I've ever seen, but it's really good overall. So there we go on that sign right there, the Motorola sign. Alright guys, so this is kind of a look at what you're going to get in the daytime on a green plant right here. I don't know the plant in its name, I'm not a planetarium or a planet guy or a plant guy, whatever you want to say. But here is kind of what you're going to expect on the green of the Canon SX530HS. Let's go up a little bit more green. We already showed bushes earlier. Let's zoom back out here and look at the um, this sculpture right here. And uh, you can see that when sun is beaming on things, it does. it's a little hard to pick up. But if you get it in the focus point, you can still get a pretty nice shot there. And uh, this is all going to be video samples, but it does work pretty well overall. All right, guys, here is another zoom shot of the Canon SX530HS. And the reason I'm doing this is because of the way the train is about really far away in the buildings. It's a good way to see the kind of possibilities you can get out of this camera. You can see that bus is not really close to me at all. That bus is really far away. And as you can see, Sheridan. If we pull back out, you can see train tracks right there. There's no train there. As you can see the buildings and the architecture, which is pretty awesome here for your Canon SX530HS. All right, guys, here's some dandelions or flowers. I don't know the exact name. I'm not a flower guy, but I can show you some camera stuff. And uh, you can see the wind is blowing the flowers. But here is another test video of the Canon's HD quality. This is a macro, really up close, and you can see the level of detail that you're going to get on this camera right here. This is 3.4 zoom. I'm going to back out and bring the lens right up on the flower itself to show you what you can get with no zoom right there. Alright guys, we're on the Chicago River, and I'm going to try to zoom into that Lowe's building up there just so you guys can get a little more, you know, zoom test. And you can see very sharp and clear. Now, I know I keep doing these zoom tests, but I know this is a huge factor in buying this camera. So that is exactly why I'm doing it. Now, there are going on a river tour here. And I'm not going to be a creep and go all the way out on these people's faces, but you can see, you see them pretty good there. Now, let's turn over and look at this Trump Tower over here on this side. And you can see that is across the street, so it's not very far. But you can see I can get right up in there. And I don't know how you feel about Donald Trump, but this video is not about him. But the architecture looks pretty nice. There you go. And you can see the stature right here. That is an actually 14x zoom. And you can see the focus points look solid overall. Alright guys, now we're taking a look at the optical image stabilization walking down these stairs here. We're still by the Chicago River, but I just want to give you a little example of how the camera performs going down stairs such as these. Now these aren't very steep stairs, but they are stairs nonetheless. And you can see the shots are staying very, very stable as I continue along this little journey down these stairs right here. So that's pretty much the optical image stabilization going down the stairs. Now Alright guys, here's another shot looking at some text. We're gonna zoom in once again, seeing how it can pick up text overall on a nice sunny day. And you can see there's a little bit of noise, but nothing that you're really gonna to notice too heavily and too deeply. And uh, let's go over here and look and see what we can get on this shot right here. So let's zoom all the way back out. You can see we're still on the Chicago River. And uh, we'll be back with some more shots here shortly.
All right, guys, we're in a candy store. You can see how the cannon picks up color on the indoors. Color your world. You can see some saturation. Not the most saturated shot you're gonna get, but it's pretty good nonetheless. All right, guys, we're just gonna do another quick zoom here. Here is the water tower place. The sun is a little bit clearer now. There's less clouds in the side in the sky. Water player tower place. Water tower place. Chicago, Illinois. Going up, you can see the John Hancock building, and let's see the needles. Let's see how much detail we can get on the needles up there. Let me pause the zoom right there. And that is 18X right there, as you can see. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps this review up. This little like test sample of the Canon 5SX 530HS. We did some video samples, as well as some photo samples. And that should give you a good idea of what you can expect from this 50x zoom optical bridge camera. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to click the like button down below. It ensures me to know you like what I'm doing over here at Everything Tech. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.